Hello everyone, Matt here, Paul Offshore Fishing. Got a video coming up, it's taking me some while to get this one together. Hope you uh, liked that video I showed a couple of weeks ago, those Big John downriggers. This video, I'm gonna show you how to take them apart, uh, what you, and uh, some of the things you need to look for when you service these, these things. Uh, obviously, when I got them, they hadn't been serviced in a while. Uh, need to, there's some certain parts that you need to clean up, grease. I'll show you how to get to those parts and uh, one of the one of the downriggers, the counter spring was off, and I'll show you how to put that counter spring back on. Uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, comment below, let me know what I can do to make these videos better, and I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. All right, we're gonna get started on taking the Big John side rigger off. Um, what we got for going on with this, we got a couple of little washers mixed in with a bearing. Uh, you got the reel, and then you got some clutch plates, and then another setup of two washers with a set of roller bearings mixed up in it. This particular side, the other one was pretty good. I've already taken that off. But this one had some little bit of a seize up. When you went to reel the handle up, it would bind the reel up and it would get locked in. Also, um, one of the things I noticed when I bought it, and it's not, it wasn't a factor that I thought, was in here, in here, you can see it there. We got the counter that uh, reads how much line goes out and what drives that or a little set of springs and I went on Big John's and got a uh, set of these price wise it was six bucks for this shipping was thirty dollars um, I might go to Vance or CarQuest or some place nearby see if I can get somebody to match a spring up like this because that's all it is is just a little spring but uh, we're going to get started uh, Starting out, it's real simple. I got my trusty fit all wrench. I don't necessarily like them, but it, it worked. Now you gotta hold the handle and kind of just pop this nut loose here. And that comes off here. It comes off pretty simple. It's like a quarter turn, maybe a turn, set of grooves right here. And then what's holding the handle and the reel on is this um, aluminum screw with a hex head, and it is, I believe, a 1 8 Allen hex. And it back, just backs that off. And what that does is allows everything else to kinda, or just come right on off. So, take that off, and I'm hitting everything today. You should be able to just unscrew all this here. Hope everybody enjoys my Downey's table. Uh, only thing that beats this is a uh, trash can with a piece of foam or a piece of plywood. All right, then here we got a, a lock washer and it's one of those alligator ones so I can take my fingernails and pop it down or uh, what also works is a screwdriver or an Allen wrench, but that just takes it off real easy like. Now, when you take the washers off, um, now these two, I was mistaken. There are only two washers here, but you got a flat washer and then you got a bevel washer. You need to make sure it goes back on correctly. So we're gonna put it down just like that. So when we pick it up, it goes straight, straight back on. And then we got the set of clutches with a little lock piece right there. And then the reel slides right on off, voila. Now when I was talking earlier, here is 
a settle. Now these look like in rough shape. I mean, they're um, they got some corrosion on them. I've already taken them off and I've taken a wire brush and sanded these down. Um, same with this little bearing piece and this washer and then the set of washers see this rod slides out and there's also a set of bearings in this piece of uh, stock aluminum and i've gotten some lithium grease and i've pretty much greased uh freed them up got to and put some grease on them and uh it worked great when i put it back together but uh that's that's how you pretty much take these things apart they're real simple now what we're going to do here is go ahead and get my spring out and we'll just go ahead and put it around the counter and we're going to put the reel back on like so now sometimes you got to take your thumb now the thing is you got to take actually what i just found out uh in doing this Take your spring off of the counter and wrap it around. Um, on this side, you got a little uh, corrugations or grooves in this side of the reel. So what I did was took it off of the counter and just wrapped it on that. And we're going to just go ahead and take this down, bring it, bring it on down. Flush. Let's try this again. I apologize, I haven't been on the camera in a little while, so I'm rushing. Well, I thought this was going to be easier than what, it was, than what it's turning out to be. All right, it's on there. There Now, you got to hold pressure on the reel here and basically put everything back on like you uh, saw me take it off. And he's got a set of grooves right here that catch it. And I'm doing it upside down, which is a little bit more difficult, but everything comes up here tight and you can see there's a little uh, oblong shape and it's supposed to fit around this shaft like so. And the reason why it's not going on is because it backed out a little bit and there it is, it locks in there. And then this piece, oh, I'm sorry. These washers first, get them on. And like we said, this has a certain way it goes so it doesn't bind down and get it back on. Um, being that I have taken the other one apart and got it cleaned up, and this one I've done the same thing. I was mistaken earlier. Um, but, uh, one of the, like I said, when I got these, this side was froze up a little bit where it wasn't actually. Um, when it was winding up, I, you had to wind it up by hand, and it wasn't reeling up with the hand reel. It goes on like that. Now, what I did I'm not doing is putting a Loctite on this thing, because I have a concern that I might not be able to get this screw back out, and the fact that it's got a, another a cover or this big nut as a cap I'm thinking that it's not going to back out unless that cap comes off if that cap comes off then I'll probably get uh, I'll probably go ahead and get another one because then it's going to look weird and not I'm just kind of anal about that stuff I guess particular I guess this would be the best way to say it but then put right there and most part that's pretty much how you take one of these outriggers apart to service it like i said those washers right there um you gotta rinse them out and grease them up real good uh i'll show you what it was I'll take some slack out but when you tighten up this reel it's supposed to wind it up like that and when you know that when, what it was not doing was that right there just go ahead and tighten up and then you had to take your hand and pull all your slack back in but uh let's see one of the things i'm going to check real quick make sure that the counter is working correctly and it is and 
see right there that the spring is all working. So this little tidbit of service that kind of that affected how this worked is actually, you know, hey, good. It's a good set of riggers for uh, no more to pay for them. Like I said, there, there's not much to them. Looking at it, um, one thing I did took me a little while to figure out on these was this rod holder that it's supposed to move. I couldn't figure out how to move. Well, that's that's pretty simple. I don't know how I missed out on that. Now. What it does do is it gets in a bind with this rod here and you kind of got to work it and get it back down. And I can't do it with up in the air like that. But uh, yeah, I got it stuck in there before like that. And oh. Anyways, I guess I'm going to struggle with on tape. I got it, I got you, I got you. There we go. Anyways, I hope everybody has a great day. I hope uh, everybody learned something from this. Can't wait to, or I'll be honest with you, I can't wait for it to get nice enough to uh, use, uh, put these to work. Uh, temperature hasn't been, it's been good way off, but my work schedule hadn't really accommodated going off. And when I say work schedule, I also mean the honeydew list. But uh, some of the parts on this, I am going to research like those little bearings that were had some corrosion on them. I'm going to go through somebody like Fastenal or Lawson, see if they can kind of match something up. Um, I would hate that it'd be kind of proprietary, but it may be that's what it is with these uh, these big John riggers. But like I said I uh, can't wait to use them, and I'll let you know. Like so said so far for uh, I got them used. Guy was trying to you know got rid of his boat, didn't need the riggers anymore. So can't wait to get them, get some salt water on them and I'll rinse them off, obviously, after I get done with that. But I hope this video is inform informational and we'll look to go from there. I hope to see you next time. Apologize it took so long. Just uh, finally got time in my schedule to uh, be able to start doing a couple more videos. Hope to have a few more coming at you here uh, soon. I hope everybody has a great day and we'll see you out there on the water. Thank you.